your winner of the 20th anniversary of Inner 2002. It's a career win, but it's going to be Dominic Luba who does at Kentucky Speedway. Why do I need wins the Coca-Cola with Coffee 500? I'm off of turn number four. Curris clears the 21, and Haley Curris takes the win at Daytona. Hello everybody, this is Cookie OX and welcome to the third annual Oreo Clash and we are currently at Eldora Speedway. So yeah. From our previous uh, clash races we only raced at Daytona for season one and two. But for this season we're gonna we are gonna do the clash at the dirt track. So yeah. We're gonna have 12 drivers that are either randomly picked, randomly picked, or that they have actually, or that they're chosen because that they won a CACS wins before for season one and two. And yeah, um, hopefully this is gonna be an entertaining, an entertaining race for y'all. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do the talking, so I'm just gonna get straight into the race. So here's your command to fire all dimensions for the clash. Drivers, start your engines! The engines are fired up for the clash. And here is your starting lineup. Not gonna do the driver instructions, but I will at least tell you that we are gonna do this clash for 50 laps, 100 track miles. Previous clash winner from last year, Dylan Ibrahiman. And this is actually the second next-gen mod race at Eldora. And you'll, you'll probably know why, but I'm not going to explain it. Because we're going green for the Oreo Clash at Eldora. Roberto still the leader for lap 2, but he's not going to be leading for that long because the season 1 winner is going to take the lead. Still driving the 22 since the last season, well the previous season. Oh, 78 barely just touched the 22. And there goes his position. Logan Williams in the 43. He's our next leader for that four.
And then he hits the wall. And now Roy Rubleton is our new leader in the 10. And he only has one win since season two. And you might look forward for m more than just one singular win. Kilbros in the fur eight. I forgot to do something about the lead leaderboard. <laughs> My bad. Owen Miles in the 16 with his teammate behind him. The 16 takes the lead. And Roberto side by side with Caleb. Oh, the Kasha's out. Yeah, the, yeah, the Kasha's out. And Elisha and Trey, they were involved from that wreck. We didn't even see what even happened from those two, but we're gonna check the replay of it right now. So it's not just Elisha and Trey that were involved from this first wreck for the clash, but Will Parrish in the one. Yeah, um. It was barely a free wide with those free drivers. And Will has pretty much, uh. has pretty much got his car out of control. And then took out the free to spawn him out. And. That just got three of those drivers to spawn out at turn one. And yeah, no, obviously nobody else was involved after this first wreck. But the good thing is though, I think Will, Elisha, and Trey, I don't think they got that much damage for their cars. Plus none of their engines has been smoking, so I think they're still good to go to continue to race for this clash, so yeah, we have Owen and Roberto, two Calic drivers driving for first and second, so let's see how those Calic boys can do for the clash. We're back. Owen is the leader. Roberto second. Caleb Burrows third. Face car is going itself back into the pit lane. And we're green for the second time. I might call this right now, but this may have this may gonna be a Wreckfest for this clash. Gonna pass Roberto to get second. Almost got himself screwed up, but uh, still driving, still trying to go for the lead. But Roberto is gonna try to get the lead before. For Caleb. Did I say Roberto? I meant to say Roy. Oh, there he goes, right to the wall. 
Now Eric Monaco is at second. The rookie, well, he's one of the rookies for the Chips Away Cup Series. And right now he is gonna try to pass the 16. He'll either just keep trying or just wait for Owen to screw himself up. Like that, basically. And now Eric. Eric has got the lead at lap 21. And Logan will pass Owen next for a second. That's gonna put Owen to third. Or fourth. Because Caleb is at third. And. He is also gonna pass Logan. And. He's also gonna pass the leader too. Just to instantly get the lead. Pretty quick. And there you go. Kiddo Bros is your leader again. Owen Miles back to the top three position. And he is gonna try to get his lead back until now. Those two are side by side. And that's obviously not gonna last for more than three seconds. Oh four. Oh one is your leader. Logan Williams to second. And Caleb is just driving for third. Here comes the other colleague driver. Roberto trying to pass Caleb for third. They're side by side. He passed Caleb, and he also passed the Logan. And we still have two colleague drivers driving for first and second. And Roberto might not last long for a second, at least for now. Logan Williams to second, and he is still going for the lead. Logan has, Logan has got the lead. <clears throat> I believe we are at 19 laps left for this clash. We still have Trey, Elisha, and Will at this track. Owen kind of pushed Logan to the wall a bit. Just to get his lead back. 16 is leading. And Roberto's back at second. And would this be... Would this finally be Roberto's turn to actually become the leader for this clash? Well, despite that, Owen just... Despite that, Owen just hit the wall a bit. Roberto Crown Jr. is your leader. Leader. <clears throat>
Logan's still driving for a second, but he hasn't. No, he has. I was going to say he didn't have the lead, the lead before, but he actually has. I'm kind of brain dead at the moment. But anyway, here comes Caleb. They are... <clears throat> Caleb is the leader. I... Oh, okay. <laughs> now er Eric is the leader. Uh, I believe this is 11 laps to go. But until lap 41, this is 10 laps to go for the clash. And we still have the same drivers that are, that are battling for the lead. Eric, Roberto, Caleb, Owen. And yeah, I... Did I forget somebody? Logan. I forgot about Logan. But, uh, yeah. Two colleague drivers, one live fast driver, one FRM driver, and one Petty GMS driver. They are still battling for the Clash win. Roberto is starting to drove away from the 38 just to keep his lead for a little longer until we get to the last lap let's hope that this will last long for Roberto five laps to go They are starting to catch up a bit to Roberto. Four laps to go. Owen barely has spun out after trying to pass Caleb. Eric Marco. He's currently uh, pitting, I think. Oh no, he's he's out. He is out due to a header problem. Not sure what really happened there, but anyway, we are currently at. One lap to go, presented by Oreo. Roberto's teammate is starting to catch up to him pretty fast. I don't think Owen might have a lot of time to beat Roberto, so... Roberto Crown Jr. is your Oreo Clash winner at Eldora Speedway. A randomly chosen driver and a rookie Roberto Crown Jr. has won the clash for the first time very good start for Roberto's career and yeah Matt Kelly is proud for this and yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like that, and here's the results. Roberto finished first, his teammate finished second, Caleb finished third, Roy finished fourth, Cork fifth, Logan sixth, Trey seventh, Sam eighth, Elisha ninth, Zachary tenth, Will eleventh, and 
Eric Monaco to 12. And he's sadly out due to a header problem. And, yeah. A fortune for Eric. But yeah, the race is finished and... Yeah, that's gonna be it, so... <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I have nothing going on for next week. But I am doing something for the Daytona 500. For the next two weeks. But yeah, um, first thing for the Daytona 500 is a qualifying video of it, and and it will be uploaded on DNR LOA channel, as always for my qualifying stuff. The duels, uh, that will be uploaded until Wednesday. Oh boy, I think I forgot what my schedule looks like. I always forget. Okay, um... Now, for the duels, um... It's gonna happen at February 15th. And then, the Daytona 500. At February 18th. Before the actual Daytona 500. And, yeah, that's... All I gotta say, so thank you guys for watching. Congrats to Roberto as your Clash winner, and I will see you guys later. Peace!